Hi, I'm Marius, Sensory Play Practitioner at the Bristol Children's Hospital. And today we're going to meet some of the play department team and see how they cope in these uncertain times. First, we're going to meet Julie, our play department manager. Got a minute? Hi Marius, yeah, come in. Could you please tell me, has coronavirus changed the way play department work? And if it does, how did we adapt? During the coronavirus outbreak, we unfortunately had to close all the playrooms, but obviously this has stopped the risk of infection spreading. But we've managed to adapt ourselves by offering the patients bedside play. Um, I can see the play department is still in a high spirits, doing crazy stuff, but yeah, that's <laughs> what we do. Could you show us the, the, the trolley you've created full of activities for oh, our patients? Yes, I've made a Corona trolley. Come here, it's out here. This is the Corona trolley that we've made. So usually we have our playrooms with lots of resources in to give to children, but because we're restricted to going out, we thought we'd make these. So we've got lovely ceramic things for the play specialists and the play assistants to take their wards. We've got lots of drawers with all the different resources in there, lots of activity sheets. Lots of fun things for the children to do. We've been printing out lots of activity sheets as well. So we've got lots on offer that we can take to the bedside to work with the children. This is amazing. Thank you very much. That's okay, Marius. Thank you. Alex. Yes. What are you doing? I'm just making some fish. Making some fish. Wow, what an amazing fish it is. Why are you painting fish? Basically, we're redecorating the activity centre because it's closed um, and we're making it so that it's renovated ready for the parents and the patients when they return. Brilliant. I think it's a grand idea. Me too. And this is amazing work you've done in here. Thank you very much. Well Let's done. meet Kate and Demi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Right. Girls, could you tell me what's your favourite thing about being part of the play team? At, here at the Bristol Children's Hospital. So my favourite thing about being part of the play team at the Children's Hospital is getting the opportunity to be the positive thing in somebody else's day. Um, I find that's really, really rewarding. Great. What about you, Dem? Um, doing a bit of fun stuff with the children. So everyone's been here, quite a lot of them have been here for quite a long time. So bringing fun and excitement with everyone and being a team, being a little family with all, all of our gang, um, play team and also nursing team as well. Great. One more questions for your girls? Yeah. yeah. Um, if you had a message of support for your fellow hospital colleagues during this stressful time, what would it be? Um, mine would be uh, to keep yourself as safe as you can. Um, because how are you going to look after somebody else if you're not looking after yourself first? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I think the same as what Kate said, but also looking out for each other, um, giving each other virtual hugs and um, yeah. moral support. Moral support. Moral support. We can do it together. Yes. And also just being fun with the gang. Right. A little bit loopy help. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Katie. Hi, Marius. How are you? Good, thank you. Are you okay? I'm not too bad. Not yeah. too bad. What are you doing? I am making some PPE heroes. Wow, what for? So these are out the front on Caterpillar Wired and they're to help show the children that it's all heroes wear special PPE protection. So, it's to demonstrate what to expect when they see the doctors and the nurses coming into their rooms, all dressed, looking a little bit funny. So we've got aprons for the Barbies, we've got gloves, we've got a mask, and we've got goggles. So Iron Man's got one, and so is Captain America. And I'm just about to do one for Woody. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Sean. Hi, Marius. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, can you tell us how oncology play changed during this time? So during this time, our playroom has all been shut and we're not able to go into the patient's rooms. So we've had to adapt our play for this stage in time. So we've created lots and lots of arts and crafts packs 
depending on what the children are interested, Disney, superheroes, all sorts of bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. So we've created those, uh, not just for children, but for parents as well, because they're all in isolation, which means they can't come in and out of their rooms at the mm -hmm. moment. And we've also got some fabric masks that we've been giving out to the children. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, that they can put on their teddies. Great. And um, it becomes less scary that their teddy's got a mask and so have the nurses and so have we. Cool, brilliant. Well, thank you. Thanks, Morris. Yo, Joe. Hey. You all right? I'm good, how are you doing? Not too bad. I've got a question for you. Go ahead. If you had a message of support for your fellow hospital colleagues during this stressful time, what would it be? Oh, keep smiling, stay playful. Brilliant. Cheers. Cheers. Stay safe!